Well, last week we spoke about the life of Nehemiah. You know, we see this man of God, he lived an uncommon life. And it was all because God gave him a vision of rebuilding the walls and the gates of Jerusalem that had been burned down. I mean, imagine an entire city that was devastated. It takes a lot of finances to rebuild. But understand that where there is vision, God will bring supernatural provision. And the amazing thing about Nehemiah is when he cast vision, the people rose up and declared, Let us rise up and build. So God took Nehemiah out of obscurity to become a person of great influence to the people of Israel. え、so today we're going to examine the life and faith of Abraham. God also gave this man of God vision and he became the father of many nations. So let's begin reading Genesis chapter 12. I'll begin with verse 1 and it says, The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram departed as the Lord had instructed, and Lot went with him. エイブラムは私はあなたを祝福するものを祝福しあなたを呪うものを呪う他のすべての部族はあなたによって祝福されるアブラムは主が告げられた通りに出て行ったロトも彼と一緒であったハラムを出た時アブラムは70歳であったあの I mean, literally, get out of your country, from your family, from your father's house, to go to the nation of Japan, and you shall be a blessing. Now, here God gives Abram clear instruction on what he needed to do. So he was to leave his country and step out of his comfort zone. え、これはですね、自分の住んでいる土地国を出てですね、ま、会的で言ったところだと思いますか。そこからとにかく出ろ、言われたわけです。And he was also to leave all his relatives behind. そして、親族もすべて置いて 
言われたわけです。そして、え、アブラマンどうしたでしょうか。He え、神様の言うことを聞いてですね、みんな置いてけと言ったのに一番お気に入りの人生をなんかこう悩ましくしてトラブルを起こすようなものは何かそれはとにかく早く話すんだというふうなことをおっしゃっています。Because you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 23 I believe it's going to go up on the screen there it is. It says it says, you say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. You say I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. え、コリントの手紙第1の10章の23節はこうあります。全てのことが許されていると言いますが、全てのことが益になるわけではありません。全てのことが許されていると言いますが、全てのことが人を育てることはできません。what are things that you need to let go of? This is a new year and a new beginning. You know, this is where you have to be totally honest with yourself as you examine your heart. Maybe it's old habits. ふるい習慣というかね、趣味というか、そういったあの、かもしれません。でも、私はその爪を噛むっていうね、そういったあの、悪い癖を持ってました。You <笑> And now he he forsook it. <laughs> he got rid of it. He got rid of it. So maybe it could be negativity. You know, sometimes you always ponder on how things are going to go wrong and how it just won't work. え、例えばですね、心配してですね、何かうまくいかないことをですね、ずっと考え、実行してしまうこととか。あの、how <笑> Right? Oh, you know, we're going to transition in January 29th and you have an opportunity to serve in the house of the Lord. Oh, man, but I'm very busy. <laughs> you know, the human nature does not like change because it requires them getting out of their comfort zone. But the thing is, you cannot have negativity and miracle mentality together. そういった否定的な心と奇跡を起こすだろうというこういう心は一緒に 
You cannot believe in miracles and be negative at the same time. We need to make a quality decision to embrace miracle mentality and forsake negativity. Or maybe it's old friends that have a negative influence on your life. You know, if we're truly being honest, what is hindering our growth? What do we need to cut off from our lives? Sometimes it's how we treat other people. Or sometimes we could be contending with laziness and procrastination. We just keep putting things off. But for Abraham, it was his favorite nephew Lot. What you gotta understand is when we have partial obedience, it delays our breakthrough. Now God, God, God is still gonna manifest this promise, but it just delays it when we have partial obedience. So you may have a particular dream, a particular vision or goal, but if you determine when the manifestation will come. Now let's go to Genesis chapter 13 and we, we let's look at how uh, his partial obedience and what it produced. And it says, Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. Lot also who went with Abram had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right, or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. え、ペリチ人が住んでいた。アブラムは now Abram began to experience God's blessing, but he also had toxic relationship that was producing strife. You know, strife definition is angry or bitter disagreement that produces conflict. え、この争いとありますけども、その
何か人間関係ですねいつもその争う方みたいな方いらっしゃいますでしょうか You know, sometimes maybe we grew up with them and they're just long life, lifetime friends, but it's just not helping us to go to the next level.、ねね、it's going to go up on the screen, this quote. It says, Relationships. Are like elevators. They will either take you up to a higher level or, or they will bring you down.、うんねねま、that. So, the friendships and the close associations that you have, are they helping you to go to the next level or are they pulling you down to where you've been? This is the friendship and the close associations that you have. Are they helping you to go to the next level or are they pulling you down to where you've been? This is the friendship and the close You know, when I first got born again, I was in the Marines and I started coming to church.、ねえーえー、I mean, I had a genuine encounter with Jesus.、えーねえー、But the thing is, I, I kept my old friends.、えー昔の旧友とまだ付き合ってたわけですね。And they were always convincing me to do worldly things. Come on, it's just one time. Come on, let's go out to the club. その昔の友はですね、もう一回だけやから、もう一回飲みに行こうよとか、その悪い習慣をですね、こう、なんとか誘う、誘うとするわけですね。And they would always put this peer pressure on me, all of them together. Come on, man, it's just going to the club. It's just hanging out with us. えっと、またみんなの前で言ってですね、そのなんか圧力をかけてですね、もうちょっと一回あの飲みに行くだけじゃないかっていうでそういった誘い方がされたわけです。And because I was a new Christian, the first couple of times I gave in、うんえーまあ。新しいクリスチャンになったばかりだったのでね、二三回はねやっぱりねそれに負けていきました。But finally it came to the point where this cannot coexist. I had to cut my relationship with my old friends. でもやっぱりある時気づいてですね、この二つはね。You know, we were still t a l k you know, I, I, I still talked to them, but we just did not, I did not have that close proximity of friendship with them any longer because I was on another path. So, you need to make sure you evaluate your close associations.、ね、Because there are some associations that you have today that you probably need to cut off because it's holding you back.、うんえーね、and that's what God was trying to speak to Abram. Leave your family and your relatives and go to the land that I'm going to show you. This is the first time that Abram was going to show you. 国を出て、親戚も何もかも置いていけと、そういうふうに言われたわけです。And Abram didn't understand why do I have to cut off my favorite nephew? <笑>アブラムはその時理解できなくて、一番ね、あの親しかったロトなんで切らないといけないのかと思ったはずです。Because God knew down the line it was going to produce strife between his household and, and、uh, Lot's household. しかし、神様は全能ですから、もう分かったわけですね。でロトとアブラムのその牧者たちがそういう争いを起こすということ。That's why Pastor Patty said we need to trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not on our own understanding because it is limited.、ねね、Now look at this, Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. It says this And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. 
And all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Then Abram moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. ベスト席13章のですね14節から18節がこうあります。ロトがアブラムから別れていった後、主はアブラムに言われた。さあ、目を上げてあなたがいるその場所から、えー、北、南、東、西を見渡しなさい。私はあなたが見渡しているこの地をすべてあなたに、そしてあなたの子孫に永久に与えるからだ。私はあなたの子孫を地の塵のように増やす。もし人が地の塵を数えることができるなら、あなたの子孫も数えることができる。立ってこの地を縦と横に歩き回りなさい。私があなたに与えるのだから。そこでアブラムは天幕を移してヘブロンにあるマムレのカシノキのそばに来て住んだ。そしてそこに主のための祭壇を築いた。Now notice this first verse: The Lord spoke to Abram when Lot was separated from him. 第一節のところを見てるとですね。神様がアブラムに語ったのはロトと別れた後語ったとあります。You know, here in Japan, sometimes when it rains really hard and you're driving, it's very hard to see because it's just like the wiper can't keep up with the rain.、えー、私も経験したんですけどね、right? 日本の、ね、雨、時よりすっごく降りますよね。で、ワイパーをこうやっててもですね、それでも見えないぐらい強く降る時があります。You know, sometimes you know, you have difficulty seeing the road because of the weather conditions.、えー、々、ねね、But then, when the weather is clear, you can see clearly where you are going.、ね、when we remove things that are hindering us and holding us back, we can see clearly. Clearly, what God wants us to accomplish. ですからあなたの動きとか妨害をするものを全て除けばですね、本当に先までですね、神様のビジョンが見えるわけです。Don't underestimate the power of clarity of vision. When you know exactly where you're going and how you're going to get there, that is something very powerful. ですからね、こうはっきり見える、ビジョンをはっきり持つという、その力をですね、過小評価しないでください。それがはっきり見えることによってですね、力が湧くわけです。For instance,、uh, I'm just going to use Shinji san as an example. You know, let's say he's going to expand his business, but then God lays out a plan step by step and who he needs to connect to, what he needs to do to get to that place in a short period of time. 例えばですね、シンジさんがビジネスを拡大しようとしたときですね、神様と相談してですね、神様は一歩一歩の、ね、指示を与えてくださいます。それに従うっていくことがまず大事になります。But sometimes we need to let go of certain things so that the weather can be clear and we can see what God wants us to see. でもその,あの途上にあってもですね、その先を見るためには、やはり妨害しているものをきれいにして、そして先を見るようにします。そのことによってまた力が起きます。So my question is, how great is your vision? あなたのビジョンはどれぐらいすごいですか For, for Abram, he had to first separate himself from this thing called strength.、えーまねまね、Then、uh, in Genesis chapter 15, I'm going to skip to Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 to 8, and I'll close out with this, and then we're going to partake of communion.、えー okay. Some time later, the Lord spoke to Abram in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abram, for I will protect you, and your, your reward will be great. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord, what good are all your blessings when I don't even have a son? Since you've given me no children, Eliezer of Damascus, a servant of my household, will inherit all my wealth. You have given me no descendants of my own, so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the Lord said to him, No, your servant will not be your heir. You will have a son of your own who will be your heir. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up into the sky and count the stars if you can, that that's how many descendants you will have. 
And Abram believed in the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Then the Lord told him, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as your possession. But Abram replied, O sovereign Lord, how can I be sure that I will actually possess it? え、十五章、創世記十五章、一から八節です。これらの出来事の後、主の言葉が幻のうちにアブラムに臨んだ。アブラムは、さあ、神主よ、あなたは私に何をくださるのですか。私は子がないままで死のうとしています。私の家の相
okay. We can just put the communion of the Lord. Okay. 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 You know, communion is something very powerful. It's not just a religious routine that we do. It's a, a, an opera, it's a time where we consecrate ourselves to the Lord. You know, they asked a question to this man of God named Smith Wigglesworth, what were the secrets of his power? Because this man of God had operated in the gifts of healings and raised the dead several times. And one of the things that he said was he takes communion every day. Why does he take communion every day? Because he keeps his heart tender in serving the Lord. It helps him to maintain that love walk to continue to forgive others just as God has forgiven him by way of the cross. Jesus gives us the greatest example while he was falsely accused, beaten, and crucified, yet he prayed and cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So today that's what we're going to do. It doesn't matter what people have said and done that have hurt you, you're going to let it go. Why? Because you are a follower of Jesus and you follow his example. You know, there was an um, incident that happened where a, a family member, a cousin of mine, uh, started messaging me really harsh words on Facebook. I mean, he even started cursing at me. Now, the thing is, he knows the old lifestyle, how I used to be, how I was used to get in a lot of uh, trouble back then. And, and this man is afraid of me. But then out of nowhere, he just started speaking to me in this way. And I just guarded my heart. I said, Lord, I'm not sure what my cousin is contending with, but I forgive him. I, I pray for your mercy over his life. Well, this past December, he was he attended my dad's birthday party and he didn't know I was going to be there. And I'm sure the fear of God gripped his heart at that moment. <laughs> and then he asked to speak with me on the side. And I was like, Lord, I'm a man of God, but if this guy acts up, I'm going to defend myself. <laughs> but then he started apologizing to me. You know, uh, he started sharing with me how at that point when he wrote that, he became homeless. And he felt that all of our family and relatives had turned their back on him. And he was so hurt, he started taking it out on everybody, including me. 
、えー、そしてですねものすごく気づいたんですねだからもうみんなに対して親戚に対してですねそういうことを始めてみたいです so you started to apologize.、えー、だからその終わりかったということを謝罪し始めました and I started to minister to him and I said listen I'm always here for you you know I care about you、うん、そして言いましたねあなたのそばにいつもいいからどうぞというふうに祈りました。You know, and I just ministered restoration to him. そして回復するように祈りました。And I told him, hey, everything's forgiven. I, don't, I never held anything against you. ですから、もう何にもあの全て許しました。あなたに撤退する心は何もありませんというふうに。And I even ministered to his mom. そしてその彼のお母さんにもですね。There are so many challenges going on with my family because I've been away for so long. えー、たくさんのですね、あの困難がですね、私のこう親類にな起こっているんですね。私がずっと離れていますから。But the point that I'm trying to make is, he started to hurt other people because of the hurt that was taking place in his life.、えー、彼はですね、その関係者にそう攻撃をし始めたんですけども、最初はやっぱり自分の心が傷ついたからですね。Sometimes we don't know what's going on in other people's lives.、うん、だから。私たちは他の人がどんな人生を送っているものか分かりませんよね。But God gives us wise counsel, forgive. うん、でも神様は本当に素晴らしいカウンセリングをしますね。まず許せ。バセクナ calls it being the bigger person, just continue to walk in love and follow Jesus. えどうぞね、大きな人間ってなり、神様に従い、愛の中を歩むとバセクナはいつもおっしゃっています。And you know what it does? It... Keeps you in good health and it guards your heart in perfect peace. そうすることによってですね、健康的に生き、心も守られ、精神も安らぎます。So as we partake of this communion, let's get let go of the past, whatever hurts that have happened, we put it at the foot of the cross. どうぞ、今から生産式を行いますけれども、みんなその悪い過去を忘れて、全部解き放ってください。Pray this after me. えー、どうぞ私の後について祈ってください。Say, Heavenly Father, 天の父なる神様、I ask for your forgiveness. あなたの許しを請います。I ask for your mercy. あなたの憐れみを請います。I receive forgiveness now. 今、あなたの許しを受け取ります。I believe I am cleansed. いやそして私は清められました。The blood of Jesus cleanses me. イエス様の父が私を清めました。And Lord, every hurt that has taken place in the past, すべての私が起こったあの心の中にある傷が I leave it at the foot of the cross and I forgive. その傷を今十字架につけます。And it goes on, on the same night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and he said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Go ahead and partake of the bread. そしてイエス様が言われました。これは私の体です。どうぞこれを覚えて、このをパンを食べなさい。どうぞ食べてください。Verse 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do in remembrance of me. That's the powerful thing about. Communion is it even cleanses us from a guilty conscience and gives us a new beginning. And I thought to myself, if that great man of God's myth, w o r g l e s w o r d does it every day, we ought to do communion more often. ベイブさんは毎日やったわけですね、えー、そんな人でもやるんですからどうぞねや,やりましょう Because he keeps our heart tender and right toward God and towards others、えー、ですからですねあのこうすることによって私たちの心を神様に向け新しく行えられるわけです Let me pray over you right now、えー、皆さんのためにお祈りしたいと思います Lord we seal this time through the precious blood of Jesus 今この瞬間を私の心の中に刻み込みます My God, whatever needs to be cut off and removed from our lives, we forsake it this very moment. And I thank you, my God, you give us all clarity of vision. This indeed will be an uncommon year, a year of supernatural. 
そして今年こそ私たちの非番な人生を送りそして超自然的な力で歩んでいきます。You, God, be all of the glory. どうぞあなたのが全ての栄光があなたにいきます。イエス様の皆さん。アメン。アメン。アメン。アメン。